Mind Your Language, Educated Ghanaian English, Lesson 67. This lesson is a mixed bag. We shall deal with the deviant usage of the following expressions. Question of or as to. Hardly or scarcely than. A pat on the shoulder. Draw program. Also. For our points of pronunciation, we have the words W-O-N-D-E-R and W-A-N-D-E-R. The two sentences that follow are incorrect. One, the publication of the article raises the question of how best the courts should deal with the issue of libel. Two, the question as to whether the Member of Parliament for the constituency should have authority over the District Chief Executive in political and administrative matters should be decided now. Where we have a clause that expresses the actual or indirect question, it should be placed in opposition to the word question without any intermediate preposition of as to. The preposition in the sentences should therefore be deleted. Of and as to should never follow question in such construction. The correcter sentences should be 1. The publication of the article raises the question how best the courts should deal with the issue of libel. 2. The question whether the Member of Parliament for the constituency should have authority over the District Chief Executive in political and administrative matters should be decided now. Note, however, that the following constructions with of and as to are correct. There are no clauses in them. 1. We now have to consider the question of equitable distribution of wealth. 2. Any question as to his suitability for the job should be left for the panel to decide. Now, listen to the incorrect sentences that follow. 1. Hardly had a thunderous cheers that greeted the opening goal by Kotoko died down than Hearts of Oak equalized. 2. No sooner had the rain begun pouring down when the accompanying strong winds ripped off the roof of the school building. 3. Scarcely had the fugitive left the hotel than the police burst in to search and arrest him. The commonest word used in simple comparison is than. It is a conjunction that follows only a comparative adjective or adverb and the one word else. Note that the rule does not apply to words that are Latin but not English comparatives. For example, superior, inferior, which are followed by to, not then. Note also that no sooner can be used in the same way. It is always used with then, not when. The incorrect sentences above should be corrected as follows. 1. Hardly had the thunderous cheers that greeted the opening goal by Kotoko died down when Hearts of Oak equalized. 2. No sooner had the rain begun pouring down than the accompanying strong winds ripped off the roof of the school building. 3. Scarcely had the fugitive left the hotel when the police burst in to search and arrest him. The incorrect sentence that follows is an example of the deviant usage involving an idiom. I think the chief deserves a pat on the shoulder for reconciling the two feuding factions. The idiom is a pat on the back for something or for doing something. It means praise or approval for something that you have done well. For example, he deserves a pat on the back for all his hard work. As a verb, the idiom is to pat somebody or yourself on the back. 
that is to praise somebody or yourself for doing something well. The incorrect sentence should be therefore be corrected as follows. I think the chief deserves a pat on the back for settling the long-running feud between the two rival families. Note, however, that the expression with shoulder is to tap somebody on the shoulder. For example, he tapped her on the shoulder and drew her attention to the imminent danger. Next, the sentence that follows is incorrect. The church council held a meeting to draw a program for the Easter. The phrasal verb is draw up something. That is, to make or write something that needs careful thought or planning. The correctest sentence should be... The church council held a meeting to draw up a program for the Easter. Study the sentence that follows. Officials from the Customs, Excise and Preventive Service seized the smuggled goods. Also, they confiscated the vehicle to the state. The usage of also is incorrect. The safest way with also is to use it only when it is synonymous with to, that is as well, in addition to something else. In informal and spoken English, to and as well are more common than also if you want to say that something exists or happens in addition to something else. Also usually comes before the main verb or after the auxiliary or middle verb where it is used alone as a main verb. For example, one, he also speaks a little French. Two, could you also type this memorandum, please? Three, I'm also a student of international relations. Note that also is an adverb, not a conjunction. The greatest sentence should be Officials from the Customs, Excise, and Preventive Service seized the smuggled goods. They also confiscated the vehicle to the state. Thank you, Sheila. For our points of pronunciation, we have the words W-O-N-D-E-R and W-A-N-D-E-R. W-O-N-D-E-R is pronounced wonder. For example, I wonder who that man talking to the president is. But W-A-N-D-E-R is pronounced wonder. For example, the police found the child wandering the street alone and took him to the station. That's all for now, viewers. I hope you found the lesson useful. Goodbye.